before the season to bar? Yeah, I, I talked to him all the time. And, um, last time I seen him was before the season. We hung out a little bit, but you know, we'll get together, have some dinner, hang out. Um, you know, play old times and just uh, you know get ready to battle them off. What have you seen from his game this year? I'm, I'm not sure that this is the best he's ever been playing, but it seems to be the most efficient. I think he's just playing. understanding where his spots are, and I think he's just um, you know I think he's just getting to his spots and, and, and playing with his uh, his uh, know-how. Right, he's not trying to do nothing different, nothing special. He's going to get to his spots and um, he's playing to playing to his strengths, and uh, he's getting to the free throw line, you know, like he always does. And, that's a big part of his game. Um, other than that, you know, he's just doing what he's doing. Like he's always been. What do you think it's going to be like when you get all your guys back and they start trickling back in? But what do you think? Interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's, going be, it's going to be different, but um, it'll be, you know, it's going to be a, you know, a kind of a what's going on stage and what's what stage. But I think it's a thing that we can really work on and, and kind of. But we look forward to having those good problems, right? We're yeah. looking forward to having those good problems. Well, you know better than most of when you first come back, it doesn't always no. click right away, yeah. right? You went five games yeah. to get back up to speed. Yeah, it? it takes a while. I mean, you know, especially when you got the ball, you're doing, you know, you're, you know, especially like Pascal, right? When Pascal gets back, it's different, right? It's a, he's one of our go-to scorers, and um, he might not be up to speed as, as he, he wants to be, but he'll get there. Uh, Mark, I think Mark is going to filter in and figure it out really fairly quickly. Um, Norm, you know, he kind of, you know, he might not be as hot as he was when he before he got hurt, but those things are the things that kind of, you know, that you look forward to working through with. And, and with Freddie, you know, he'll be he'll be back to normal. I think, you know, we take a lot of pressure off each other by us being on the floor together. Pascal in particular hasn't been a guy who's had a long-term injury. Is there anything you say to him to help him at all? Uh, he hasn't been through it really. I don't think you say anything to him. You know, I think you just. You know, you make sure you try to get him to spots where he could be successful early and get his confidence back. You have a guy like Norm who is probably playing as well, yeah, as well as consistently he ever has. What, what did you see from him in that stretch? That just, that kind I think of it was the confidence and just the rhythm. You know, I think basketball and the game of basketball is, is a rhythm game, and he was in a good feel. And um, I've been in that field before. A lot of the guys and pros have been through that field before where you just you know what your shots are, you know how fast you guys shoot it, and nothing rushes you. Everything's like boom, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it's, uh, that's that rhythm and groove that he was in, I believe. And having an explosive score like that, you can sort of get something in transition or get something off the yeah. break. It's good to have every, you guys. Yeah, good to have everybody back, oh, you yeah. know, for, for purposes of, um, you know, fatigue, you know, minutes, uh, scoring defensive efforts and just having a, a full team back and, you know, kind of getting guys back to, you know, knowing what their roles are and understanding what they got to do and how to help the team. How much of a challenge is it for a guy like Norm, whose role has kind of changed a little bit, fluctuated, his minutes been up and down? Uh, how difficult is the challenge to do what, though? What's your... Be consistent every night. I mean, you got to be consistent if you can be. I mean, you're not going to be great every night, but you can play hard every night. Uh, you're not going to make every shot. You're not going to shoot... 50% from three every night, but you can go out there and give a good, great effort every night. And I think that's the that's the consistent part of what we need from our team is playing hard every night. It's what we need from Norm is no matter what's going on, just play hard. Do you think we're going to see many players like Kamar going forward? Like it's not. I, I'm sure there's not a lot of people out there coaching to be this expert mid-range player in this era. I mean, he's a, he's a specialty man. He's a specialty player, and um, you know he knows what his game is and. I don't know if you'll see much of it, but I'm sure it, you know, the mid-range isn't dead. Um, that, that that game isn't over. I mean, obviously, um, they got guys in the league like Chris Paul still, you know, he's unbelievable with that spot. DeMar, you know, those guys are really good at that, at those spots on the floor. Um, I think you'll see guys that just play basketball. And when we just play basketball, you know, everything good can happen. He's kind of at the extreme end where he, he, he experimented with threes, put it away. And you know he's still able to lead really good teams to really good seasons. I mean, he's he's perfected his you know his spots and he knows where his spots are. Um, I don't know if you see anything like him. Uh, you know, every player is different. Every player, every individual basketball player is a different player. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you like it? Do you like watching this game? Like even when you played with them? Yeah, like, I mean, I love I, 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 I love watching them. I've watched him before. I watched him before. I liked his game. You know what I mean? I liked what he did. He's patient. He really knows how to play the game of basketball and play it the right way. And 
you know, throughout the years we were together, he got a, he got better um, playmaking. He got better better at being comfortable at doing different things, and he even got uncomfortable by shooting threes in one year. So, um, you know, that's just a good pro right there. What made you and him work so well? Uh, I think just the dynamic of we knew what each other was going to give and, and with the communication. I think that was a big thing, the communication. Um, maybe some nights where he's like, you know, I, you know I'm whatever, and that nights I, where I say, hey, you know, I got it. And we never um, left either, no ego, right? If you got it going, I'm going to keep giving the ball. If I got it going, he's going to find a way to give me the ball. And, you know, it worked for us. It, it really worked for us. And, you know, also having a great friendship that we had, um, you know, that made a lot, they made things a lot easier. But I think just we knew what each other was going to get, and we knew that we both wanted to win at the highest level. And I think that was the biggest thing was uh, we both wanted to win at the highest level, right? And when you got that, you know, anything's possible. What do you think he meant so much, and as I'm sure we'll see tomorrow, still means so much yeah, to the city? Yeah, I mean, he gave everything, right? He was the guy that said, I got us when, you know, CB left, and um, he re-signed here, and, you know, he took the organization, helped take the organization to new heights, you know, went from not winning to winning and winning big, and, um, you know, I think he poured his all into the city, and, and I think what the city seen was a kid that came in that was 19 years old, and until the age of 28, give a lot, right? And that was the big thing. Uh, he gave he gave the city a lot, and the city seen him grow as a, a, a from a boy to being a man. Did, when, when you win, when you guys won, like, did you reach out to him, or did he reach, reach out to you? I mean, listen, one thing about it is, you know, when you're friends, you're real friends, and that's what really matters. And, um, you know, I said, talk to them. I talked to them this morning. You know, we were always going to talk, but we're, but we're not. Like I said, people don't know we're not fake friends. We're real friends, and you know, we'll have a great night tonight, and then we'll be competitors on the court tomorrow, and then after that, uh, talk to them every day about <laughs> everything else.